Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode. Today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the prices on Yu-Gi-Oh for this week, and we're gonna see how the ban list affected this prices for the meta cards, top 10 meta cards for Yu-Gi-Oh prices for this week. And like always, we wanna remind you that we do wanna to get to the subscribers, so if you wanna comment, share, like this video and subscribe if you haven't done so already that would be greatly appreciated and let's jump into the video all right guys so we are going to this part of the video now and we have a number 10 we do have animadorn arcosaur this card previous price was eight eighty dollars and ninety cents and the new price is seventy seven dollars and ninety eight uh cents this card has been new to the list, uh, meaning also that dinosaurs are still pretty strong. This card is uh, used mostly on that deck and doesn't have any reprints. It came out in Eternity Code. It's only uh, rarity a secret rare. So this, mi this card might be uh, due for a reprint and we might see it reprinted uh, later on. Maybe this year, maybe next year. Number nine, we have Magician of Souls. This card came out in Legendary Duelist Magical Hero. It's only a rarity is ultra rare. Its previous price is $89.87 and its new price is $89.87. So we can uh deduce by uh well we can uh what we can say about this card is that this card has been stagnant. It used to be a little bit um, higher price, also higher in the on the price list. But right now it's sitting at number nine on this list at $89.87. This card is used mostly on Dogmation decks. Also at Eldritch when it's mixed with Invoked. Then we move to number eight in our list. This card is Access Cold Talker. It's from Eternity Cold. It only has one uh, rarity, which is uh, Secret Rare. It also only has one printing on Eternity Code. This card is seen at $99.74 on the previous price and new price is $99 even, meaning that it's uh it's has gone down a little bit in price, but it's still a really uh it's a really expensive card that is high up there. Uh it might get a reprint pretty soon. I know that uh they, they tend to reprint a at least one link monster in um in most of the newer sets that are for reprints. So we might see this card uh, on that list. It usually sees plays in Eldritch, Sandman Grade, and uh, the now uh, up in the air Drytron because uh, we don't know if Drytron is still going to be good with the new ban list that came out that limited Benton only to one copy per deck. So it might Drytron might die out, but it's still a very good uh, strategy. So. You, you might we might see it stick around for a little bit that was our number eight and then we're moving now to number seven we have a uh, nadir servant uh that only has one printing uh from rice of Duelist. it only has one rarity which is secret rare previous price was 101.99 cents and the new price is 100 dollars 99 cents but it has come a long way this used to be uh between a 40 to 70 dollar card and it has uh, slowly been creeping up uh, however, I do think that this card has been creeping out a little bit more because of the new influx of money that has hit the market with the um, with the new stimulus checks. So this card might be a little bit going up because of that. Uh, however, I do think this is a strong card. This card sees play in some of the decks like Dogmatica, Invoked, and Outledge, which pretty much are the meta now. Because Drytron and Virtual World have been really, really uh, heavily affected in the last ban in the last ban list, so we might see this card going up. Even though you know the Simmons check help all a bunch of the cards in the market, I think this card is one of those cards that are hyped because now you have the money, now you can spend on it. And like I said, if you're running Dogmatica, Invoked, or Eldritch, this card might go in that deck. Then at number six. We have Pot of Prosperity. This card has only one printed in Blazing Vortex, but it does have two rarities, uh, Secret Rare and uh, Starlight Rare. But this card is the Secret Rare that is sitting on previous price 103.99, and the new price is 101.99. Uh, this card has been uh, carrying this set, basically. Um, this card sees 
play in a lot of decks, mostly the uh, the uh, combo decks, but it's starting to gain a lot of uh, popularity, and it's is uh, play in decks like Invoke, Drytron, Virtual World, but also Dinosaur. So this card might see some play competitively and also you know it's it's carrying uh blazing vortex by itself um this card like i said the market is kind of hot right now but i do think that this card will be at a uh, hundred dollars flat and it will it'll stay that way even though when the market cools down then in number five we do have black luster soldier soldier of chaos this card has Two printings. Uh, one of them is in Badger Legend Hero Revenge, and the other one is on Ghost from the Past, uh, being Ghost Rare. But this case, we're going to be talking about the Secret Rare. It was previous price $90.51, and the new price is $105.99. Reason being is that this card uh, dipped all the way down to $70 um, because people thought it was going to be. Uh, like a very very common card from Ghost from the past, it's proven to be that it's only gonna be uh, in Ghost Rare. As at least of the information I have right now, it has come out that it's only gonna be in Ghost Rarity. And um, so, since it has a very uh, even higher or harder to get rarity, not really a easier to get rarity than uh, Secret Rare. This card has skyrocketed back up to one hundred five and ninety nine cents. Whereas, like back in the back in the like a month ago, when 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 the leaks happened, this card went all the way down to seventy dollars. This card sees play in decks such as Eldritch, Dark Magician, and Dogmatica when it uh, when they're combined uh, basically when invoked. And uh, but this card doesn't see a lot of competitive play, but it's just like a pet card that everybody has, and uh, they they are preferring this card over cards like Pot of Prosperity. Nadir Servant, you know, I think those cards uh, deserve to be higher up in the list than this card. But the market has spoken. This is card. This card is mo mostly like a pet card, and um, and you know, it's sitting at one hundred five point nine nine. So, uh, coming in number four, we do have a Forbidden Droplet. It has um, one printing, a uh, Rise of Duelist, uh, Secret Rare, but it also is gonna come out in Ultimate Rare in uh, OTS uh, pack number 16 which is the uh, tournament pack 16 and that one is confirmed for later on the year i don't think this is going to be affected that much because that that uh card is even going to be harder to get uh but you know it's in here right now at uh 128 uh, 90 was the previous price and the new price is 127.99 this card i think that's the home for it i think 125 is going to be the home uh, for this card for for a while because it has seen a lot of competitive play it's it's one of the the newer cards that has taken the the meta uh not by surprise because we all knew this card was very very good this card is being played on decks such as outledge Dogmatica, invoked drytron evil twin virtual world basically all the top decks right now and uh like i said it's 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 being used a lot so this card it's no Surprise that it's sitting at number four. But then uh, we're going to number three. Uh, this card is uh, Lightning Storm. Uh, it has one printing, two rarities. It, uh, Ignition Assault and a Secret Rare or Starlight Rare. And the price is 115 for the previous price and the new price is 129.50. This card has not been confirmed that it will be reprinted. A lot of people thought it was going to be reprinted, but since it's not being reprinted and the market is really hot, this made this uh, card go all the way up to $129.50. Um, like I said, uh, the market is kind of hot, so don't believe it, everything you see right now. Uh, a lot of people are just buying cards that they wanted to buy like for a while, and now they have the money, so they're spending it. On this card, it doesn't seem that it's going to get a reprint anytime soon. And it's being used in plethora of decks. Pretty much every every deck, it's in the side it's in the sideboard. So, uh, yeah. So, watch out for Lightning Storm. Like I said, uh, pick up your, your first editions if you can right now. While the Unlimited and the first edition price are kind of the same. So, might as well just invest in those first editions. Coming in at number two, we do have... 
Triple Tactics Talent. Uh, this card has one printing, uh, Rise of the Duelist. Um, it has two rarities, which is Secret Rare and Starlight Rare. Previous price was one twenty nine ninety nine, and the new price is one thirty point nine uh, twenty nine. So uh, this card we all knew is gonna keep on going up. The like I said, the market is hot, so this card is being uh, bought out or being bought a lot more commonly. I think the fair pr the fair price for this card is gonna be around the one twenty five dollar range, but I do see this card going up to one fifty once uh, we can get together and play. I think this card is very 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 useful. Like I said is is being used in a lot of decks and um, those decks being invoked Rocket, Dogmatica, and Eldritch. So it does see a lot of play in the meta relevant decks. So this card is, is sitting at number two, and then number one with no change is Satellite Cannon. This card has four printings. It's from, uh, but this card that we're talking about is from Dark Revelation Volume Four. is a secret rare. Price sitting at previous price 195.95 and the newer price uh, 149.99. Uh, like, I, uh, like I mentioned before, this card sees only play in Cyber Dragon. But I think there's a rumor that Cyber Dragon, uh, there's also a new deck, a uh, new OTK Cyber Dragon deck. Um, might want to check that out. I, I'll probably do a video on that. Uh, so yeah, uh, this card is going to get hot. And if you can get your get your hands on it, it's a it's pretty good. So, like I said, it's only being used in this deck. Uh, however, it's a it's a very important part of this deck. So, uh, satellite cannon. Um, like I said, it's only being used in cyber dragons. But however, cyber dragons are getting new support and also are being um, are being featured in a new deck that is a one turn kill. So, go check that out. And like I said, I'll probably put, do a video on that as well and in the spotlight we're going to talk about the new millennium puzzle that is so a new uh model kit is being um is being made from bandai and this model kit is going to be the millennium puzzle from yugi uh from the Yu-Gi-Oh franchise and uh this car this model kit will not include any instructions because you know mimicking the uh anime the anime um the story goes that he got the Millennium Puzzle all mixed up and in pieces. And then he built it kind of like a character development kind of deal. And I'm very excited for this model kit. So I, I do like model kits. And I hope, I, hopefully this is a very high-end uh, model kit. And I'm very excited. Um, it's going to be uh, around uh, 4 inches in width. And also, it's going to be 33 pieces. I think that's the way the anime was. So, it's uh, mimicking, like I said, the anime. And it looks really high-end. It looks really nice. Uh, it's going to be a price tag of $30. But it's uh, la launching in Japan. I don't know if it's going to get here in the U.S. It's launching around August. There's no official date release, so you can uh, pre-order. But, however, it just got announced. So, that's a real nice... Uh, uh, it, that's a real nice item that is coming out so uh just keep your eyes open uh if you can order it i think it's a it's a good way to go and uh that's it for the spotlight of this week so what do you guys think about this week's uh prices what do you guys see in the future that are the prices are going to be affected i see a lot of changes with all the new stuff that is coming out especially with the ghost rare or ghost from the past and especially with the ban list that just happened a couple of days ago as of the recording of this video so that's it for today's video uh like always if you like our content if you like our content uh you can like share and comment on this video what you like and also, if you want to subscribe, if you haven't done so already, that would be greatly appreciated. Also, we want to thank our sponsors, uh, Game Inc. and Dex uh, Boxes. Both are linked in the description of this video. That is it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one.